name. Amen. Inherited idol problems. Ishoro Orisha Timojogu flow out of my life in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to decree it. Yes. Then. Thank you, Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, we Jesus. Evil flow from my parents. Can you shout this loud? In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, we call Jesus. Power. Power. Of placental bondage. Tide Olubi. Can you shout it loud? Jesus, open your mouth and decree. It is a decree. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Jesus, name we pray. Lord, we Jesus. Like that, do not. Idol powers. Idol powers. My head is not your candidate. Only me possess for. Your voice is not loud enough. Oh, you let's talk to. Carry your Lord in the name of Jesus. Lord, we Jesus. Carry your loads. Be a Boshanda. Carry your Lord yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yes. Baby. Yes. Baby. Jesus name we pray. Lord we call Jesus. Agadola. Any power. Agadola. Calling my name in the coven. Can you shout this loud? Your voice is not loud enough. Before I leave this place, in the name of Jesus, 
Kwa Jesu. That's right. Open your mouth and decree it. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus name we pray this next prayer is going to bring instant breakthroughs say my father Baba me shake the heavens me I want shake the earth me ile shake the seas me I want and release my portion my father Baba, me. shake the heavens me, I want shake the earth me, shake the seas me, I want and release my portion me, in the me, name of Jesus open your mouth and command them to be shaken Jesus name we pray. Lord God Jesus. A seven fold man. We give you praise, we give you honor, we give you adoration. Thank you for the gathering of your saints here. And thank you for what you always do at the manor water services. Father, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. As many as are gathered here today are connected to us one way or the other. Right there where you are. Whether the enemy likes it or not. Any good thing that the enemy has stolen from you. Repossess them in the name of Jesus. Repossess them, repossess them, repossess them, repossess them, repossess them. In the name of Jesus. In the prayer meeting of today, possess your possession. Possess your possession. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. A louder amen. Let's have a seat. God bless you. As we open our Bible to the book of Genesis, Genesis chapter 1. We are going to read two scriptures. When the Holy Ghost confronts a problem. When the Holy Ghost confronts the problem, Genesis chapter 1. I begin to read from verse 1. From where we were introduced to the Holy Ghost to start with. In the beginning, God created the heaven and, uh, and the earth. And this is the position of the earth at that time. And the earth was without form. And void. And darkness was upon the face 
of the deep. Darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the waters. Listen carefully, beloved. When a problem confronts the Holy Ghost, or when the Holy Ghost confronts a problem, something must happen. Can you shout this at the top of your voice without any apology to anybody sitting beside you? Holy Ghost! Is that the loudest you can shout it? Confront my problems by the thunder of your power in the name of Jesus. with fire my way hear the word of the Lord by the bulldozing power of the Holy Ghost open if you want your way to be open this is a strong prayer Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Have your seat for a few minutes. The Bible says that the world was in a chaotic situation. The world was in a confused situation. No form. No void. Then what happens? The, the world was without form and void. There was no form. It was void. Then the spirit moved upon the waters. If we are careful reader of scripture, many times, over and over again, over and over again, you'll be reading about spirits moving upon men. Spirit moved upon men and men demonstrate the power of God after that move of the Holy Spirit. Many times in scripture you hear and the Spirit of God came upon him. The Holy Spirit moved upon them. That's why one of my favorite songs which I want you to sing loud and clear if you know it. Is Holy Spirit moving now? May my life all again speak Bless her. 
said, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, sing it loud and clear. Quiet as the blessed Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. With a very loud voice, something is about to happen and that will change lives for good. That will cause a repair of destiny. With a voice loud and clear. Holy God! Then we pray. Keep your eyes closed. The Holy Ghost is confronting the brain block. The brain blocker. The womb blockers. The joy blockers. The heart blockers. That's number one. 
That's number two. That's number three. That's number four. That's the power of God coming up. Silence. The Holy Ghost is confronting the grave spirits. Last number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Power assigned to kill you to destroy your health has been killed now. a voice that roars like fire. We are not here to joke tonight, you can see. Let your voice embarrass the person close to you. Holy Ghost! Torment my tormentors! In the name of Jesus! Saints. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. It's a proclamation. Yes. They must let you go. They must let you go. Let her 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 go. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray. I guess it beloved. Let's continue for a little bit further. It is a day of disaster for a problem. The day the Holy Ghost collides with that problem. The reason sometimes when we pray, some people fall down or they begin to feel faint. Because there is a strong man in their lives. The Holy Ghost collides with that strong man. And there is a battle going on inside the person. Person may fall down, the person may not be able to stand. A head on collision with the Holy Ghost is a serious disaster for a problem. In Luke chapter 1, verse 35. Luke chapter 1, verse 35. When the Holy Ghost confronts a problem, or a problem confronts the Holy Ghost, something must happen. Something has to happen. It's compulsory. It must happen. Look, chapter 1. 
to put it in proper context let me read it from verse 30 Luke 1:30. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. A woman who was not married to any man yet a woman who was still a virgin sorry a virgin so she actually asked a question then said Mary unto the angel <laughs> how shall these things be sin I know not a man you never slept with anybody they are talking about pregnancy and the angel answered and said unto her the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee that is all that's all you need I'm praying for somebody here today the Holy Ghost Shall come upon you, 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 and shall will fall them back. It was many years ago. At a crusade, a mountain of fire and miracles ministry, just play to state. If anybody was there, then they will remember what I'm saying now. We took our prayer point from this verse. Mary said, How can these things be? They just said, It's the answer is simple. Very simple answer. The Holy Ghost will come upon thee. So that, that's all. Once that happens, you got the answer. And so we all raise up our voices. And for the next five minutes, don't pray any other prayer. Just concentrate. Holy Ghost, come upon me. Holy Ghost, come upon me. Holy Ghost, come upon me. We continue to pray. I was on the pulpit like this. I just found people running elta scatter. They are scattered from that area. The ushers ran. So when I saw that everybody is running, they are running away. I had to come down to see what, what's going on here. I found a fish on the floor swimming. A fish. The mud skipper. Swimming on the floor. Had concrete inside church it came out of a woman they told her she had long term pregnancy but when the Holy Ghost came upon her confronted that evil pregnancy we found that it was not pregnancy it was an evil fish program inside a womb by the enemy same thing old Jabaro in those days a woman came that she's, she's been pregnant for years three years and the same prayer she fell into labor right there. He rushed out to the hospital. 
by the time she would deliver in the hospital the first thing that came out was a nylon bag before a baby boy followed you can imagine my joy the time I went for a crusade in Canada and one boy was greeting me and I greeted him Say, sir you may not remember me Say, I was the boy that was born when nylon bag came out before me now in Canada I'm praying for somebody here I said the Holy Ghost shall come upon you it 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 shall come upon you in the name of Jesus a cow is reversing it wants to fight but when we look at the opponent of the cow we find the good at the front also reversing to fight the conclusion of the contest you don't need any professor to teach what to lap that's why I'm decreeing today a head-on collision between your problems and the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Holy Ghost my life is available Down for a little bit. Take your Bible. Go to the book of Zechariah, chapter 4, verse 6. Zechariah 4 6. Zechariah 4 6. Then he answered and spake unto me saying this is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel say not by might nor by power but by my spirit said the Lord said the Lord that's the origin of that our popular song very popular song which we're going to sing now says not by might nor by power but by my spirit said the Lord it's not by power it's not by mind. It's not by mind.
my my spirit says the Lord. Hallelujah! It's not my part. It's not my part. It's not my mind. It's not my mind. My my spirit says the Lord. Then what's going to happen? This mountain shall be removed. Hallelujah! This mountain shall be removed in Jesus' name. of anointing every yoke must be broken by the reason of anointing every yoke must be broken, must be broken. Raise up your two hands, shout it loud and clear again. Holy God! Break my yoke! In the name of Jesus! name we pray. Sit down, beloved. When the Holy Ghost confronts a problem, the number one thing it can do for you is to reveal to you the root of the problem. Maybe it's sin. Maybe it's curses. Evil covenant. Maybe it's a satanic attack. A demonic invasion. Whether it's self-afflicted. Whether it's carelessness. It will reveal to you whether the solution is deliverance. Or you need to be discipled more as a child of God. It will reveal to you whether the problem is rejection. Or unfriendly friends. Or household wickedness. Or it's just a power encounter a 
power encounter by power encounter I'm trying to explain to you when we say power encounter we mean you are firing life bullets at the enemy and you don't expect the enemy to fire nothing back at you they won't fire rubber bullets back at you that's what they call a power encounter that's what happened when Paul and Silas entered into a city immediately they began to move in the power of God that was a power encounter the rage against them they started fighting them it could be that is that could be what is happening you have attacked they are trying to attack you back the Holy Ghost will reveal to you whether it is God that is actually your problem because God can be the source of your problem in that case if it's God's case no deliverance minister no pastor no matter how anointed can help you God told Jonah go to Nineveh he changed direction to Tashish so God started with him the storm on the sea was caused by God so there is no prophet that can help you now unless he repented when God is the source of your trouble you need to repent and you need to have faith so when the Holy Ghost confronts a problem number one it reveals to you the root of that problem number two the Holy Ghost helps you to pray the right prayers you could pray the wrong prayer from the cradle to the grave sometimes we pray for already available blessings why what, what we should pray for is to contest against the hindering powers the fact that God has rained down showers of blessing does not mean that the person will get it the showers of blessing are around but the person cannot get it because he's praying for showers of blessing showers of blessing have come but he is unable to receive it because the enemy has chained his hands there is blessing but the hands of the receiver has been chained he should stop the prayer on reins of blessing now and command his hands to be unchanged he may also pray for that rain of blessing but his pockets may be leaking so he should pray the right prayers that's why this prayer point oh god arise let me be in the right place at the right time is one of the most powerful prayers because, because many people suffer from satanic diversion the angel of God is waiting for you in Lagos that was a forwarding address from heaven you thought things are too hard so you ran to Ghana while the angel waited in vain for you to appear in Lagos and you are praying in Ghana where you are oh God bless me oh God bless me that's the wrong prayer the wrong prayer is let me be in the right place at the right time let me relocate back to where my angels are waiting for me
This is a serious matter. A brother at the age of 42 tried to get somebody to marry him. He wasn't making progress. So the prayer was put in that time. Oh Lord, give me the bone of my bone. Give me the bone of my bone. So somebody advised him to drop that prayer point and change his prayer point for him. So don't pray that one again because you say bone of your bone. Supposing the, you are a thief, so you are getting another thief. The, the, the Bible teacher advised him to stop. I say, I say, you advise me to stop. What prayer will I pray now? Say, so say, oh Lord, send me a woman who will be my mother, my friend, my everything. He prayed that nothing happened to. Because all those prayers were wrong prayers. Until the Holy Ghost has son the right prayer point is I bind this ancestral spirit of loneliness it was when he prayed that one the wife manifested there is a spirit where he came from assigned to run men lonely he was praying for bone of bones. He was praying for this woman, that woman, that woman. But all were wrong prayer points. It's the Holy Ghost that reveals. Number three. When the Holy Ghost confronts a problem, the Holy Ghost tells you which level the answer to your prayers are. Whether the prayers are denied or is delayed or you should pray it differently or, should, or is asking you to wait a little when the Holy Ghost confronts the problem. Finally, when the Holy Ghost confronts a problem, it confronts the problem as when the Holy Ghost confronts the problem as a God miracle agent. He will now disarm, defeat, drives out, and destroys the problem. That is what happens when the Holy Ghost confronts a problem. There is somebody here tonight. As we are going to start the prayers that makes the Holy Ghost to confront problems. As you pray these prayers, I don't know the way you have come here today, but you will not go home the same. In the name of Jesus, rise to your feet now. In case you are here, you are not born again. You have not surrendered your life to Jesus. Do so very, very quickly now. Raise up your right hand where you are. Raise it up very well. God bless you. If you raise up that right hand, find a way to the altar very quickly. Jesus is waiting for you here. Very quickly, find a way to the altar. I want to surrender your life to Jesus tonight. Thank you, Jesus. All the way to Calvary went for
Those of you at the altar, I congratulate you. You've taken the most important decision in life. Just close your eyes. Bow down your heads. Say what I'm going to say after me. If you are watching us online too, say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here. Let your anointing be upon their lives. Write their names in the book of life. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Open your eyes. Just follow this by pastor for one or two minutes and join us later. Thank you, Jesus. For those of you who surrender the life to the Lord Jesus Christ, for more information and prayers and counseling, you can see our phone numbers on the screen for calls and messages. Prayer warriors and counselors are waiting to attend to you. God bless you as you do so. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea, on the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah. the valley, on the land, and in the sea, on the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. to go on head-on collision 
with any problem in anybody's life let your voice be the loudest here plenty of prayers to pray in a few minutes it's not a day to negotiate building a siege around my destiny can you say that loud lose your power in the name of Jesus Assigned to scatter my happiness. Can I hear your voice roaring like thunder? Holy Ghost, scatter them in the name of Jesus. name we pray say any power assigned to cover my glory can I hear you saying that somebody should shout this loud and clear them to powder in the name of Jesus yes any power that wants to cover my glory Holy Ghost crush them to powder I believe God that you are praying. <laughs> Voice of the wicked over my destiny. Shut up. Can I hear you shouting that? Can you raise your voice a little bit further? Can you make it louder than that? In the name of Jesus. Can you say that loud? Holy Ghost, flush out every poison from my blood in the name of Jesus.
Jesus' name we pray. This particular prayer is a very serious matter. And I want you to take it seriously. The curse of Goliath over my life. Can you say it again? Say it again. Shout it loud. You shall not stand in the name of Jesus. He shall not stand. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. Perfect silence. Don't say anything until I ask you to speak. Father, in the beginning, the Spirit of God moved upon the waters as your word says let there be light father start from the head of everyone gathered here any presence in any head that's not supposed to be there your word says strangers shall fade away and they shall be afraid out of their close places holy ghost fall upon the head 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 begin to burn to ashes every evil crown conscious or unconscious begin to burn to ashes every evil load conscious or unconscious burn 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 to ashes every arrow of insanity every arrow of migraine every arrow of heaviness in the head Holy Ghost push them out as the first person that's number two that's number three four you cannot hide you cannot hide enough is enough the evil hand laid upon your head as a baby to divert your destiny fire is coming upon your head to remove it to remove it to remove it That is designing coffins for you. Powers summoning you from the grave. Holy Ghost begin to kill those powers now. One by one. Yes.
anything you have eaten or swallowed that is now working against you the Holy Ghost is confronting them in your body and they must be pushed out they must go they must go they must go they must go in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus Amen. Amen. A sevenfold man. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Bring out your pass and your offering for this meeting. Father, we thank you for the pass and the offering. Good measure, press down, falling over. Let it be the lot of your children. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please rise your feet now as we continue prayers. Rise your feet as we continue prayers. But if you are here tonight and you have been hearing strange voices, you hear voices that others around you don't hear. Please run quickly to this altar and be on your knees. Know that we are here for serious matter. We are not here to joke at all. Can I hear your voice roaring like fire and thunder? As you call this after me, the way I'm going to call it. Pass! Gathering strange fire against me. Can you shout this loud? Jesus. Be consumed by your fire. Jesus. Then we pray. Say, pass. Assigned to attack me with sickness. Can I hear all the sisters here shouting? I'm sure the sisters can shout it louder than. Brothers, can I hear you roaring like thunder? Carry your Lord in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to lose your temper in the Holy Ghost as you pray this next prayer. Spider! 
of backwardness in my life. Can your voice roar like thunder? Say it louder than that. Catch fire! In the name of Jesus. Say the spider ablaze. Yes. Jesus name we pray finally before you go tonight this is one of the most important prayers we are going to pray in this place today powers assigned to make me assist my battle A lot of people are assisting their own battles. Powers! Assigned to make me assist my battles. In the name of Jesus. I shall not assist my battles. name we pray listen carefully next week mana water service is a very special one and you need to come with two bottles of water at least one you can drink here the other you will take home two bottles for the next power must change for the next manna water service coming up next Wednesday and make sure that you don't miss it bring out your manna water now father we thank you for this water Holy Ghost move upon this water in the name of Jesus Holy Ghost, move upon this water in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, move upon this water in the name of Jesus. Let this water become the water of healing, the water of deliverance, the water of power, the water of power, the water of resurrection, the water of glory. In the name of Jesus. When this water confronts any problem, let the problem be disgraced in the name of Jesus. I sanctify, consecrate, dedicate, and bless this water in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The Lord blesses you from Zion. Make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Father, all the prayer requests are answered them by fire. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.